Good evening, Wolfpack. Welcome back to the NCSU Weather Center. I'm your meteorologist, Alex Kement. Your headlines for today, I have a class-by-class -class forecast coming up that's going to make you much happier than today did. I also have your Cupid outlook and the week ahead. But first, the reason that it didn't get as warm today as we thought it was is you see this finger of blue here in the western part of the state and this wild temperature change from western North Carolina all the way down to Georgia. The warm front that we were promised sat right around here, but it didn't quite have the energy to make it all the way into our area. In fact, it may have served to reinforce that cold air dome that was stuck in place over our region. And that was what we saw that brought us all of that fog and low visibility earlier this evening. But as we look at a time lapse of the satellite from today, you can see here's the cold front here, and that's moving across the area, and that's going to be out of here and out of our way. This is what we're dealing with right now, but it's going to be well off of our coast as we go into the overnight hours. Your class-by-class -class forecast is evidence of this. We'll still see those clouds when we get up in the morning, 9 a.m. around 44 degrees, but the sun comes out and the skies will start to clear. You'll see the blue skies pop out around noon. We're at 50 degrees and close to our high of 56. We're near 54 by 3 p.m. We'll take a look at the surface and I'll tell you what's going to play a role in our weather over the coming days and that's this high pressure system that's in control over the southern central part of the United States. That's going to move east and start to bring us into a more westerly and eventually southwesterly flow bringing us that warm moist air out of the Gulf that we enjoy in the wintertime bringing our temperatures a little above average for Valentine's Day and Friday to end out your work week before our next weather system comes in. But back to tonight. We'll keep the clouds, and that's what's going to keep us as high as 40 degrees for our overnight low. Tomorrow will be a different story. It'll be a little cool, but winds will be west-northwest around 5 to 10 miles per hour, and the sun will come out tomorrow. We'll rise up to 56 degrees. We're going to be warmer just by virtue of having the sun available post-cold front than we were today just because the clouds were so thick and we couldn't get that solar energy in to warm us up. Because the clouds are going to be gone, though, makes bad news for tomorrow night's low. We'll be back into the low 30s, near 31 for our overnight low. Without that blanket, it's going to let the heat right out of the atmosphere into space. And then your Cupid outlook, your Valentine's Day forecast, it's looking like a fantastic day by noon. We're already at 56 degrees, warming up to 61 by 3 o'clock, and then we're back into the mid to low 50s by 8. And you can see clouds do increase as we go throughout the day, but the chance of rain is slim to none. And we'll take a look at your five-day forecast here. It only gets better until we get to the weekend. 56 for Wednesday, 62 for Valentine's Day. Friday, 66. It's going to feel like what we thought we were going to have today. And then more rain moves in all over the weekend with a high of 55 on Saturday and 49 on Sunday. Notice those low temperatures on the end, 31 tomorrow night and 35 on Saturday. Tomorrow night is just due to the lack of cloud cover. It's going to let the heat right out. But Saturday, we have another colder air mass move again associated with the weather system that's going to bring us that rain over the weekend. This has been meteorologist Alex Kement in the NCSU Weather Center. Have a great week.